Hello everyone, welcome to CrotoFlick and I'm your host Chad Bradle and today I'm going to show you how to build a shotgun microphone mount as shown here. The tools you are going to need to build this are shown here. Are some snips, some type of sandpaper, I used a simple fingernail file, a 7 30 seconds drill bit, some safety glasses, and a drill. The reason we're going to be using these is we're going to be actually snipping some of the plastic and they tend to fire. So you want something to protect your eyes, even if it's your own glasses, something, just keep your face covered so you don't get nailed in the eye. The parts you will need to build this are a two inch PVC slip coupler, a one inch PVC slip coupler, a package of these bands that are uh, uh, rubber type of rubber elastic bands from the Dollar Tree a piece of half inch PVC foam and that's pretty much it your total cost will be less than three dollars and fifty cents and this uh, is mainly for the housing of the unit Alrighty, so essentially what we got here is our two inch coupler and right here is the mount but this is uh, not technically part of the build but you'll see it in the other video on how to build this. I basically drilled a hole slightly offset so it didn't go through the center ring and the bolt would sit flat on the surface in here. Alright, anyways, so what you're going to end up doing is drilling four holes on each side and they're basically going to be in a cross pattern like this. But when you drill them, it's going to be underneath of the surface. So when you drill your hole, it's kind of going to be about about right there and then down through. And then once you drill your hole, you're going to drill it through and you're going to want to continue all the way through so that way your holes will line up more even like so. So you drill all the way through that way. All right, once you have that done on both ends. You're going to want to make sure when you uh, do both ends, by the way, that you try to line up your holes so it's, you know, square. Mine are a little off. I did it by eye, but I'm sure there's a better way of doing it. Anywho, so once you do that, you're going to have, you know, some PVC that's going to be connecting tops. So you're just going to have a hole that's going to be connecting. What I did is I took my snips and basically at a slight angle, snipped it off right there and there, and I did that all the way around. And then I took my fingernail file, and I actually used this to sand everything down right inside here and all along the cracks. You want to remove all the sharp edges, that way it doesn't cut into your rubber bands. So you're going to do that on all the holes, all eight spots. Once you do that to your two inch, you're going to do the exact same thing to your one inch. As you can see, and I use the exact same drill bit to do it. So I'm going to make sure everything's lined up. You know, both ends. Once you got that done, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your elastic bands, like so. And I actually changed uh, how I put these in here from the picture you're going to see. Uh, we'll keep them in there a lot better and actually it's probably a little uh, sturdier I guess you could say as well but I just took them I took one I put it in and I looped it back through pulled it tight so they hold on to each other just like that so you have two bands just like that and then you're going to want to take this run it this is uh, your half inch PVC pipe insulation. Mine's uh, been taken in and out a little bit. And I, I probably wouldn't split yours. This is just a piece I had laying around and it was already split. But yours should be sealed and I'd, you, want, you might want to keep it sealed. So you're going to push it inside until it's flush. Then you're going to snip it so it's the same length as your uh, one inch PVC coupler. And you're going to push it back out. Take your rubber bands. And you're essentially 
just going to run it right in like so now this is kind of a little tricky but you're going to end up having something like this and you're taking take the other band and running it on the other side as well so you're going to have something that kind of resembles this and that on the inside now the hard part is when you got it like this pushing this piece back down in and it's going to want to snag and possibly do some other funny things when you're pushing it down inside but that wasn't too bad that time around for me I've had to do it a few times but for me it was a pain in the butt at first anyways so now you got that there's your elastic in the spots like so and then keeping my barcode kind of down same thing with this it's just how I wanted it I simply took the end I wanted facing out stretched it out and then looped it all the way over back across so it's gonna loop from the front all the way around and back under and you're gonna do that to all four sides And this is where it's important to make sure you sand these down really good because otherwise it might just cut right into your bands and they're just going to start breaking. So now, it's in. Like that. If yours is slightly off, like you can see on mine, simply grab the the point where it's farthest away, pull up on the rubber a little bit, and just pull the tension in. You can uh, even it out that way. This side's the same way. Just grab the band, pull it in a little bit, and change the tension. And now, just take your shotgun mic run it in the hole and it's going to be pretty snug like so there you go now you have a nice looking Shotgun mic mount for three dollars and fifty cents minus the bolt assembly here. And really with the seven thirty seconds of drill bit, when you drill down in here, you can actually thread in your quarter inch bolt like uh, an adapter plate and pretty much thread it right into the PVC. As long as your hole is straight down and you're not rounding it out. You should be able to thread right in there and it should grab right onto the PVC. So you could almost attach this directly to the top of your tripod if you want. So that's uh, one way to do it. But in the following video, you'll see how I made this. And this actually allows me to attach it to a hot shoe right in here, tighten it down. And also I can attach it to a tripod adapter plate at the same time. So I have two options with this. Yep. There you have it. Well, I hope you like this design. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, if uh, I don't say so myself. It's cheap, effective, and um, with the way I have it set up, you can pretty much mount it to anything. So, feel free to share, comments, anything, you know. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll... Uh, be sure to respond to you promptly. Assuming I'm at a computer. But like, subscribe, share with others. And I'll catch you next time.